Island, this powerhouse team from the state of Utah. And it's going to be a try again. They've lost nine no. times in 30 odd years. What the heck is up with that? <laughs> and it's try time again. Congratulations to Highland. Their uh, dynasty carries on. Is that like a dynasty? That's what I said, didn't I? Dynasty. <laughs> it really doesn't matter how you say it. I really have no way to explain it. The numbers do the talking for you. We're not always the biggest, the fastest, or the strongest. They're just the most decorated high school rugby program in this country's history. Seems kind of surreal talking about it. 18 of the last 23 national titles. A 379 and 9 all time record against American high schools. They're even 45 and 17 against college teams. I don't know if I were a college if I'd play us. Us is Highland Rugby. The thing that he did then that he does today. He cares about, you know, his players. He loved us. He is Larry Gelwicks. It captured me from the first time. A BYU rugby player in the 70s who wanted to share his passion with the next generation. Of course, rugby being the, the sport that they play in heaven, I thought we'd need police there for crowd control. You know, that we'd have so many. six kids showed up. Larry would find success recruiting from the Highland football team. We wanted to excel for him. We wanted to excel for the team. But it was never about fear or intimidation. That's just not his approach. It's one of the reasons why he's so great. There's no such thing as negative motivation. You can't do the Lord's work in the devil's way. You can't use those methods and expect actual change. His positive approach now draws more than a hundred kids to tryouts and if you're willing to work you don't get cut. What message does it send if I say I'm sorry you're not cool enough to hang out with us. So we create as many teams as we have young men. Highland Rugby now has five teams and another seven person squad that he promised early on would take a back seat to no one. And he said I love you more than rugby but don't ever quote me and so I quote him on every possible occasion. She's not the only one. Coach Gillett always says, you know, if you train hard and you work uh, your butt off for the next four years, if you like, work, work out every day, eat right, maybe you can be as, uh, as built as I am. You can have a body like his one day. And Sounds like a good line for a movie. You spend a whole lot of time in the gym. You work your hardest with a complete commitment to do your best. You eat smart, get enough sleep, and you work your tail off someday. Someday you can have a body like mine. <laughs> Hollywood heard the Highland story and turned 33 years into a feature length film. Stay tuned for the getaway guru. But life in front of the camera is nothing new. But aha, the Mahalari has done it again. And glaciers galore, 584 bucks as taxes and airfare are additional. Now, is this whale season right now? It is when I'm in the buffet room. <laughs> A weekly radio and television audience springs out of his successful travel agency. That's been selling pretty well, hasn't it? When I start thinking, oh my goodness, I'd like to strangle this guy, um, the thought uh, pops into my head, yes, but aren't you glad you were invited along for the ride? I heard him say the other day, maybe I'll have to, to stay around and coach the grandkids of my first players. And I've always had a sense that when it's time to retire, I'll know. And when I know, that's when I'll retire. It's him. It's him. It's in his blood. It's in his DNA. As long as we can keep turning out championship boys and not just championship teams, I hope to be a part of the program.